Barlow. Ow! <laughs> so, this is kind of a normal sort of situation for us up at the farm. Here are our crazy puppies, which are getting big. Barlow, I've been telling you, right. stop eating raw. Show your training. Down. So, sit down. Sit. 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 Sit down. <laughs> sit. <laughs> yep. The training's going well. They're, they're actually really well behaved. They're just an absolute nightmare together. Yeah. So yeah, they say never buy two puppies from a litter. There's a reason for that. <laughs> when they're apart, all midweek they're apart. They are great. So obedient. So well behaved. When they're together, they're impossible, like midges. <laughs> no, they're no lovely. attention span. Come here, Barlow. Barlow's so got a rock fetish this weekend. So, oh. <laughs> so we are welcoming you, ow, with the puppies, to this month's vlog. I don't want to kiss we've got, you. We've got lots in store for you. We have got videos of the pups when they were tiny and much more manageable and probably far more biddable when they were small and we've got videos of some fun days out with the family and we've got babies babies and dummies and your lesson on echo rescues oh horrific i've been having a nightmare with echo <laughs> anyways we are slowly making progress <laughs> she's uh, getting very strong and um she's a big girl Yes, and I, 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 it's position issues. So yeah, we're getting there. You've had, you've been doing well though. You've been doing well because we've done, we've done lots and lots of flat work. We just come back into jumping recently. There's some footage of me and Cruz, which I've been having probably about as much difficulty as Jenny, but in slightly different, but also slightly similar ways. Ah, <laughs> you're awful. And um, yeah, what well, I think, what else have we got? We've got uh, oh, wee baby bird that I found. It's really cute. So there's quite a bit of footage for you to see this month, and I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, um, I'm rushing off to the vets for Fifi's bloods now. Yeah, Fifi's so, epileptic. A very quick intro, which is very organised and chaotic, but kind of. I think he's just bruised my cheek. <laughs> good. Well, you enjoy the good. video. You be good. Bye. So this is our first jumping lesson after a winter of flat work and my nerves were up. Jenny is much more confident than I am but it was great fun. We were both really happy with how both of them came back into jumping. Both of them are powerful horses, they're talented, they can jump big. And we were working here on coming into the jumps from walk to keep the calm and reduce the kind of fizzy anticipation that can come with, with jumping and the excitement of it, especially after lots of flat work. And as you can see, Cruz is loving it and quite fizzy and a bit thoroughly enjoying himself. It's a great exercise this to, as I was saying, just to reduce that anticipation, but for you as the rider, it really makes you work hard on the feel of your horse as they come into the jump because it's not easy coming in from walks. So it's really, really good for you as a rider to develop your jumping technique. So here we are, we have been working on just single jumps and as we progressed, we put in a double and I don't know but watching it they just make it look so easy but it's actually really quite hard work and both of us were pretty knackered at the end of it and so were the horses but they both had a ball they loved it so Jen and I both have weekly lessons with Fiona Stewart, who's an ex-international eventer. She was one of the first um, women to be selected to go to the Olympics. I think it was the 68 Mexico Olympics, but unfortunately her horse Balanquil damaged his ligament or tendon. He, he couldn't go, so it was pretty devastating for her. Anyway, as you can imagine, Fiona's got a, a wealth of knowledge in the field of eventing and she works heavily with us across all disciplines. She's big into her flat work. 
And as I mentioned before, we've done loads and loads of flat work prior to coming to this stage of back into jumping. So she's working heavily with Jen and Echo at the moment because Jenny's wanting to get back at eventing this season. And as you can see, Echo's not the easiest of horses. She's got a brilliant jump in her, but she can be quite difficult to ride as a lot of these talented horses are. So they're working on combination of jumps the approach the land and everything in between and of course if you get that right you you get a nice nice jump from the horse so fiona is working on flexion here with jenny and as you can see she's coming over this nicely and here she goes that was a lovely lovely uh, attempt this time Oscar down on the outside, lay her down, very good. See how this is working? Yes. Yeah. We've got to keep playing the fences, but you must underline a thousand times, ask her down on the outside. If you never have more flexion, then you can ask down on the outside. Whoops. What you might have noticed is the jumps are pretty small here and one of the things that Fiona's quite keen on is that it's not about the height. It's about getting everything right in between them and once you get that you can then introduce the height and not have the problems that you might have if you hadn't put the work in with them at a lower height. As you can see, Fiona's not a quiet instructor. She's constantly at you. She's working you, your brain and your body the whole time. But does she make you and your horse work? didn't get her striding right there so it's my turn with Cruz and we've started off with our flat work which we always do Cruz is a strong horse I've had a challenging few years with him but I've learned so so much uh, however I've found a combination of all the flat work we've been doing and a new bit which I actually got, well, I suppose it's not that new now, a year ago, and it's the Transangled Lozenge Universal, but which has just been great with him. It's allowed me to have a much more sensitive contact with him, and he's much happier with it. You might notice that he's very mouthy, and I have had this investigated with an inch of its life, and we've just had to accept that, Cruz is just a mouthy horse and I guess it's maybe a bit of a crutch with him. I can't find anything underlying that's causing it. He's a powerful horse. He's got a superb jump and he loves jumping. But we've had to do a heck of a lot of flat work to get it all coming together nicely because he would go very, very difficult. Make that knee strong. Oh, he's had too much beans. Just 
Fiona is very big on position work, you know, making sure you as a rider are sitting absolutely correct on the horse and using your body correctly. She's big into her biomechanics. Not gonna lie, this was a really tough lesson with Cruz. It was one of our more difficult ones. I just didn't seem to have the feel that day and we just weren't quite coming together as a horse and rider as we sometimes do. It was just an off day for both of us. But despite that, I think we did quite well. Play, 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 and just I had a different mindset and so did he and he jumped the best I think I've ever jumped him he was amazing and we got the jumps back up and I was just so happy with him you've got to take the good with the bad and it's the bad where you learn He's not happy there. He's getting a bit fizzy. Now get your little walk. Trot, sorry. Trot. That time was useless. Right. Now flex him left. And make him accept. No, that's right. Flex him left. Don't jump. Shorten your rein. Flex him left. He is a pig. <laughs> Flex him left. Left hand up, your right hand down. He's an absolute angel. I love him to bits. If you can. No, good. Good. That's better. Now keep that left flexion. Inside. All right. Left hand up. Outside hand down. Keep that left flexion. Keep the left flexion. Good. Left flexion. Left flexion. Good. Good. Left flexion. Left flexion. Yeah! Keep that left flexion. Left hand up. Right hand down. Good. Left flexion. Left flexion as quick as you can. Good. Good. Don't throw yourself. Good. Left flexion. Left flexion. Very good, Joe. Left flexion. Right hand down. Don't oh, get me. Yeah. Left flexion. Right hand down. Good. introduces Diva. Guess which one's Diva? She lives up to her name in every respect and is a lovable rogue and has been part of our family or horse family for a very long time and uh, she was originally mine and then Jen and I swapped and I took in Aiden so that she could go jumping because Aiden doesn't really jump Jen and I always end up swapping horses. Echo was originally mine and Cruz was hers and we swapped. Um, so I always end up with geldings and she seems to end up with the mares. Here's Diva, relatively well behaved. And me and Aidan leading little Millie and Haggis. It's just the cutest. Haggis is a little cheeky monkey, but he is the cutest little thing ever. And he's so good to Millie. And then there's Stacy in the back and Orla. Teddy is Orla's pony and Baxter is Stacy's horse. Oh, look, look, he's so cute, little haggis. He's 
He's really naughty, though, really naughty. Got a great video of him chasing Millie and biting her, and she thought it was the funniest thing ever. Finally, there's Teddy and Orla and Stacy and Baxter. Right, Millie, come on, show us your best shot. Oh! That was just a practice swing. Well, well done! Warm up. You're doing good, keep going. It, it's ten sterling, not football. <laughs> come on! I can't even get about to stay here. It's a cheeky ball. Come on! Yay! Well, Scored! Nope. You've got to throw the ball onto his racket. And that's him. Come on with the ball. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ready, steady. Yay! Are you ready? Steady. Whoa! Good boy. Ready, steady. Yay! The next Andy Murray. <laughs> ready, steady. He's very grumpy today. I think he's thinking more along the lines of cricket than tennis. Filming. Come on, Rue, get your next shot in. He has got a bit of an Andre Agassi look about him, doesn't he? Now that he's got no hair. <laughs> I'm saying you have got a bit of an Andre Agassi look about you. <laughs> John McEnroe. <laughs> yeah, he was more like John McEnroe last night in his walk with the two horses and five dogs and two children. <laughs> Come on, Theo. <laughs> Theo's on the wrong team. He is. <laughs> See, see, I've just wandered off with your rack and hit about one ball, so you take your rack. So here we are at the local tennis club's open day on a glorious spring, sunny day, and the kids are having the best fun ever. It was an amazing day because it's really one of the first days we've had out on a social front since lockdown. It was amazing, and we got to meet a lot of new people because we've not really got to meet many of the locals since moving because we moved during lockdown so this is a great fun day and as you can see we Theo and Millie are having a, a, the best fun he's so cute he's only a year and a half now I thought going to throw your ball oh you're having good fun aren't you Our first hack out, proper hack out with the kids. It's uh, hmm, relaxing, should I say? Not. <laughs> However, Millie, you can't see from the stream of sunlight, is on haggis up there. Barlow's on his lead, so he's got a sore leg, but I couldn't bear leaving him because he was so upset. Theo is in the arms of Mummy, who is supposed to be on Haggis, but decided he doesn't, has decided he doesn't want to ride. And Daddy is thoroughly enjoying his walk, I don't think. It's a very pretty place, as you can see, with the views through the trees, over the hills. There's Ben Lomond over there. Not easy bridging with a dog in the lead. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on, Hack. Come on, Teddy. That's it. Well done. Uh, I didn't kick him. Well, he's going. You're doing a good job. Keep going. Right past the camera. Okay, come on. Teddy. You're all right. Pull up your reins. That's it.
Well, <laughs> this is what you've got to learn to do in horse riding. Ask him to go for it. That's a girl. Hold on to your reins and don't let him put his head down. You're doing good. Just keep hold of your reins. That's what you need to do. Keep hold of your reins. That's it. Ice cream. <laughs> what you doing, man? Hey, you got two dummies. Yeah. We're trying to get rid of dummies. Not have two. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and when there's no dummy, there's always a dolly. And here you can see Theo is practicing his mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation at the young age of one and a half. He's so funny. So I found this gorgeous, darling little baby bird, which turns out is, they think, a sparrow. And he was by my car, lying on his back, and I actually thought he was dead at first. So I brought him in, phoned the SSPCA, and they told me to give him sugared water in the meantime. And they came later on in the evening and collected him or her and took them away for nursing back to health and at one point it was even tweeting away and it was just the cutest thing ever it was, it was quite lively at the end so cute it was sad to say goodbye but so happy that he was going to be looked after hello hello you're lovely you're looking okay just now you're a baby thing yeah Gorgeous. Would you like some more water? Hmm? Do you like a little drink? I think you're okay. I don't think you want any at the moment. I'll leave you to rest, okay? Back in January, we bought two puppies and this is uh, them here on their very first night back at the farm with us. And we bought Barlow, who is in the yellow collar, who's my puppy, and little Bertie, who's in the red collar. However, at the time when we bought them, um, Millie had wanted to call Bertie Chester. We had a big uh, deliberation about names and I wasn't sure whether to go for Barlow or Chester. Then Millie decided she wanted Chester. So I went with Barlow, which uh, was my grandpa's middle name. And we went with Chester initially for Bertie. But uh, Jen and Rue decided that they felt Bertie suited him better. And it kept along the grandpa theme because Rue's grandfather was called Bertie. So we now have two puppies named after our granddad's. And they are absolutely amazing. They're just the best dogs ever. Really, really naughty when they get together full of mischief, much better behaved on their own. Um, they're now, well, they're January, so do, do, they were born in October, so they're about seven, eight months now, so they're much bigger than this um, now, but I thought I'd let you see some footage of when we first got them. This is when they had their first venture outside, uh, and we took them into our indoor riding school, and Fifi was playing grandma and looking after them, and it was just the sweetest <laughs> thing ever. I'll let you watch a bit of that. Go, Barlow. Mm -hmm. Ready?
<laughs> That's too cute. <laughs> That's because Cruz did a poo there earlier. Oh, get out Cruz's poo. So this is one of the first times the pups have been in water. And I think they're more enthusiastic than Millie. Oh. Oh. Hi, Chumpy. Are you having fun? Need to get Bertie anything. Come on, Bertie. Come on, Be brave. Then. Just don't go over your wellies. You just keep yourself. Oh. <laughs> Try not to fall in like mummy. Come on, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy! Oh, Yay! Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Barlow, he's got stuck. <laughs> oh, no, don't take him off. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Once the welly boot was dry, the next day we went for a walk and here you can see the personalities of the two. Bertie's crazy, Barlow's lazy. Uh-huh, where's all your exercise? You becoming a lazy fat lab? Are you? Are you becoming a lazy fat lab? And then we found this. Which one of you did it? Which one of you did it? Mm -hmm. Barlow, you're looking very guilty. Naughty doggies. Naughty, naughty doggies. You're going to look like a troll, are you, Millie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not allowed to put pink in your hair. Mummy might give me a light. My mum always puts pink in my hair if I want. I'll ask mummy if you're allowed pink in your hair. Why? Oh, don't get me in. Don't get you in it. Is that a video? Uh huh. Why do you not like being videos? Oh, I'm not photogenic. Oh, stop it, goody. It's like 16 channels. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> you're not alone in that. Whee, look at you. Pre pink hair. Wash out pink. A little bit pink. A little bit pink, darling. I'll be lovely. Remember not to touch it, okay? Here we are, that's it. Oh, thanks. Your hair done, Theo. Here's little Theo in the hairdresser chair getting. Well, I think it's his second or third haircut, and he loves the hairdresser. Um, he so just loves he loves shoes. He loves his hair getting done, and he loves his grandma, as you can see here. So he's <laughs> at uh, Tickety Boo getting his hair done by Lorna. <laughs> oh, lovely! I'm in position. In position. I'm in position. Woo! On you come. Okay, we'll move this because Auntie Joe doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Yay! There she is. Come back! Oh, I'm about to get one of these. Okay. <laughs> well, do you need, do you need a wet cloth? Or are they sticky ones? <laughs> no, they're sticky. Okay, can you have one? Can I choose my own? Yeah. Um, I would like you two are causing bedlam at Tickety Boo today. Absolute bedlam. Here, because I have to wash my hands. So oh, thank you. That's lovely. <laughs> <gasps> Very good. <laughs> That's me got my tattoo. Give me a dummy. No! No! <laughs> so, we hope you've enjoyed this month's vlog. Next month, we've got so much fun coming. We've got the <laughs> Fintry family. Oh, God, Ruth no. really enjoyed that. Ruth had a day. thoroughly good day, especially Ruth, the day after when the world Richard got a little, a little bit drunk. Epic hangover. <laughs> Changing um, nappies and vomiting at the same time. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. And we've got Millie's sports day, which was today. And oh, my goodness, you missed, you missed yourself. 
Well, Usain Bolt. Really the next Usain Bolt. <laughs> She's very happy. Did, did she realise she was last? Oh, she was running like so happy <laughs> until she got across the lane and she didn't get a sticker. Oh, that was so cute. But but she didn't get a sticker. You know, she's upset. So we had to go and see her. Aww. And then the next race was the egg and spoon, and I had been telling her, like, you have to be really careful and not drop the egg. Cool. Well, so all you. the other kids were holding the eggs and just running off, and she did the whole thing just holding on. Oh. <laughs> So that's so, next month. Mel- Mel- that. Millie's not a real breaker. <laughs> I like her auntie. <laughs> Some hacks. What else have we got in it? Riding hacks, not life Riding hacks. hacks. And then I can do some life hacks. There was also the field. We, we did the spreading of seeds in the field, field. to get our new grass back. Yeah. That's coming next month. And... Maybe some updates on my house, or maybe not, because I'm fed up of it. Oh. Maybe, maybe some highlights from our holiday, because we booked a holiday yesterday. That's the vlog Woo-hoo-hoo. after, that's the next vlog. Oh, that's, that's, that's July. That's a different one, so yeah, you'll get that later. So yeah, so next month, get <laughs> hope you're all on the edges of your seat waiting for that one. Yay! So until then, bye, see you next time. Bye! You're going to wave for you. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Good boy. (laughs) I added a lot to that, though.